So we did a search and rescue exercise with San Mateo County uh, Search and Rescue. Um, and it was mainly to have some aircraft familiarization between us and the SARX crews and then uh, also train them on how to approach the aircraft, how to call us in, and some asset familiarization as well. We can provide just an overall air asset, just with some eyes uh, in the sky to look down. We also have hoist capabilities, and for fire season we have buckets. Uh, for hoist, we provide uh, certain um, rescue equipment that'll be a SCED for any um, spinal injuries. We have a rescue seat, we have a rescue vest, and then myself and some other medics can also be hoisted down as well. And then all of our medics are paramedics and critical care paramedics, so we can provide that higher level of care for any patients on board. Um, they were very excited. Um, it was really cool to see a group of people that were excited to learn about our aircraft and our capabilities. Most of them were really excited to participate in the hoist. Uh, we took turns for everybody in a hoist ride. So they went up and they went down. Um, and then for the canines as well, just it was really cool to see um, some working dogs. We had an older one, and then we had one that was still in training, and he was just very excited to be, to be invited. So. But for this particular exercise, we just did hot and cold load training so that they know how to um, approach a hot aircraft. So with blades turning, they, they can remain calm, essentially. Um, I really always enjoy it, especially um, when I was younger, I was on a search and rescue crew, crew on the ground side. So I always really enjoyed uh, the coordination piece. Um, and like I said, I just think it's really important to have that coordination between um, the state's military assets and just the local assets around the ground. Uh, really good, really fulfilled. Like I said, uh, there's a lot of people that, that do get help and rescued from, from rescues like this, so very fulfilled. Yeah, so this is the main, main reason I joined this unit is because I want to be here as an assistance to the state and like helping them not just like in search and rescue situations like this or an exercise, but also with we help with, you know, fires around the state, a um, couple of recent fires I was helping with was the Dixie fire, the Caldar fire, the Mosquito fire as well. So it's really just, it gives me great pride to like be part of um, this unit and be able to help find those folks. So this unit really has like a really special place in my heart and makes me proud to kind of be serving in this unit is because, you know, originally the, the reason I found out about um, the Charlie Company, 2nd 135th is because I knew someone from high school that was actually found um, and he was part of a, a search and rescue instance too. And I know the people, the crew that originally found um, found him out in, uh, in the Truckee area. And I think like knowing that, that we're helping, you know, people like that and someone I know personally, like really ties back to like why I joined the unit to begin with.